Okay, let's look at question number 11 of 2023 pure mathematics paper in combined mathematics. So the first part of the question asks you given this function ax squared plus bx plus c and a is positive to show that the minimum value of the function is minus delta over 4a. So what we should do first is complete the square of function f. So take a out then we will get this one. Now complete the square x plus b over 2a square plus c over a minus b squared over 4a squared. Simplify this x plus b 2a square take a minus sign out then you get b squared minus 4ac and we know b squared minus 4ac is what delta b squared minus 4ac is equal to delta then this, this can be written as x plus b over 2a square minus delta over 4a squared. Now distribute the a. Then you get a times x plus b over 2a squared minus delta over 4a. So now this is our fx function. We want to find the minimum of this function. So this part is positive. So the smallest value you can get is what? When this part is 0. So when x equals minus b over 2a we get the minimum fx value which is going to be equal to what? Minus delta over 4a. You know a is positive. So this whole thing is positive. So the minimum value is when this part is 0. So that will happen when x equals b minus b over 2a and that value is going to be equal to minus delta over 4a. Right. Then they have given us another function g of x is equal to px squared 2 root pqx plus qr and it is given pqr positive r is a real number and it is also given function g does not have real roots and we are asked to show r is greater than 1. So what does function g does not have real roots means what? That means delta of this function has to be less than 0. Then let's find the discriminant which is delta. So that is going to be what? b squared. So 2 times root pq squared minus 4 times a which is going to be p for this question and c. c is qr for this question that has to be less than 0. Now simplify this 4 times pq minus 4 pqr is less than 0. Take 4 pq out then we are left with 1 minus r is less than 0. Okay. Now go back here we are given pqr positive so that means 4 pq is positive so then for this whole thing to be negative 1 minus r has to be what also 
negative so that means this implies 1 minus r is negative because whole thing has to be negative and 4 pq is positive then that implies r has to be greater than 1 okay now let's look at the next part next part is we are given minimum g of x is equal to q and from the first part we know minimum of a quadratic of this type is given by minus delta over 4a minus delta over 4a and delta of gx is given by this one remember this is our delta of function g then min gx is what minus delta over 4a from part a from, from first part of the question minus delta for this question is 4pq minus 4pq r a is p for this question here yeah. your quadratic has p instead of a now let's simplify this so 4p cancels and you get uh, minus q plus q r so we have two expressions for the minimum of g x equal them so q is equal to minus q plus q r then you can cancel q because q is positive we know q is positive then we are left with 1 is equal to minus 1 plus r o r is equal to 2 right then let's look at the last part of this question right so we are being told y is equals x plus is the tangent line to the curve y equals gx at this point 0 1 when r value is equal to 2 find p and q for this r value equals 2 position so let's see let's first find function g when r value is equal to 2 so have to plug in r equals 2 here so g of x is going to be equal to p x squared 2 root p q plus 2 q then when x equals 0 we know the function value is equal to what 1 Hence, you can plug in those values and see P0 square 2 0 2 Q that gives you 2 Q is equal to 1 or Q is equal to half. Then we are also given tangent line at 0 1 is what y equals x plus 1 so that is what that means slope of the tangent line is equal to 1 so slope is equal to or the gra gradient is equal to what derivative of the function at 
this point derivative value of the function at this point so you can find g prime of x first so that is 2 p x plus 2 root p q and g prime of 0 is the slope value which is going to be 1 from here so then 1 is equal to 2 p x sorry yes 2 p x and x is equal to what 0 2 times root p q so that is what 2 root p q is equal to 1 or p q is equal to 1 over 4 and we already know q is half so that means what p is also half you just have to plug in q equals half here then you will see p is also half so that is the first part of question number 11 part a okay next we will discuss part b